Cisco FTP transparent mode is another way of inserting a firewall in the network. In transparent mode, FTP is mostly like a switch and does not need an IP address to be assigned in each interface and also does not take part in the network routing. In this topology, I've tried to show the differences between firewall in routed mode or transparent mode. So far, we have implemented all our configurations in a firewall in a routed mode. I select a routed mode for the firewall configurations since it is used more as a transparent mode. But the configurations are the same in both modes, except for a few points that I will point them out. In routed mode, firewall is configured like a router in the network. All interfaces must have an IP address and firewall must take part in traffic routing. Each interface in firewall is located in different subnet. In our topology that we have implemented from the beginning of the course, the inside interface is on the subnet 192.168.10 and the outside interface is on the subnet 192.168.1. In transparent mode, firewall is configured like a switch and no IP address is assigned to any interface except for the firewall itself. In our example, inside and outside interface are and must be in the same subnet 192.168.1 and traffic is switch and not routed through the firewall for the target of inspection. In a transparent firewall, we have some limitations, but actually all of them are not always limitation, but we do not need them at all. For example, unicast and multicast routing is not supported in transparent firewall, but sometimes it is not a limitation. We do not need them at all. But some of them can be counted as a limitation. For example, a firewall in routed mode can also be used as a VPN server, but a firewall in transparent mode cannot be used as a VPN server. Firewall in a transparent mode cannot be used also as an enterprise BGP gateway. So, depending on the application of firewall, if it is used as enterprise gateway or just as a firewall inside the data center, we can choose to use routed mode or transparent mode. It is also interesting to know that you can still enable NAT feature in transparent firewall. To implement transparent firewall, we have to configure bridge group and add interfaces in each bridge group. Each bridge group is like one isolated switch. For each bridge group, we have to configure a bridge virtual interface. Firewall uses bridge virtual interface or BVI IP address as a source address for packets originating from the bridge group. The BVI IP address must be on the same subnet as the bridge group member interfaces. You can create up to 250 bridge groups with four interfaces per bridge group. In our topology, we use our physical firewall as two transparent firewall with creating two bridge groups. Giga Ethernet 00 and 01 are added to the first bridge group as inside and outside interfaces. First bridge group is used in data center as an example. The IP address of BVI interface in the first bridge group is configured as 192.168.1.1/24. Second bridge group include three interfaces, Giga Ethernet 02, 3, and 4, as inside, outside, and DMZ interfaces. It will be used as Enterprise Edge Firewall, as an example. The IP address of BVI interface in the second bridge group is configured as 192.168.2.1 slash 24. 
There are some points regarding configuring access rules in transparent firewall versus rotated firewall. Notice that ARP is allowed by default in all directions in transparent firewall, but it can be controlled with ARP inspection feature in transparent firewall. But notice that the equivalent of ARP in IPv6, which is IPv6 neighbor discovery packet is not allowed by default and it must be allowed explicitly when required. In addition to ARP, BPDU is also allowed by default to prevent any loop in the network. Multicast and broadcast packets are also not allowed by default. So routing protocols traffic are discarded by default and we have to permit them if two routers are neighbors over transparent firewall. Currently our firewall is configured in routed mode to change it to transparent firewall. We have to take these steps. Isolate FTD from FMC or delete FMC manager in FTD and also FTD in FMC manager. Configure FTD as transparent firewall. Again, add FMC manager in FTD and also FTD in FMC manager or connect them together. Create bridge group and BVI in transparent firewall and add interfaces in the bridge group. Configure default gateway in bridge group if required and configure access control policy and rules. If you want to change the firewall mode from rotated mode to transparent mode, you will certainly receive error if it is already connected to FMC manager. Show firewall. Currently it is a firewall in rotated mode and show manager it is already connected to the fmc manager with the ip address 192.168.200.100 and i try to change it to fire configure firewall transparent I will receive the error. The firewall mode cannot be changed when a manager is configured. And I try to uh, delete the manager, configure, manager, delete. Uh, operation fail, please unregister or delete the appliance from its manager. That means first we have to delete FTD in FMC manager then delete fmc manager from ftd so i go to the fmc manager interface in device and device management delete ftd from FMC, fmc manager Now try to delete also FMC manager from FTD. Now it is successful, show manager. There is no manager connected to the FTD. So I can change the firewall to transparent mode. yes and show with show firewall you can see the current state of the firewall which is in transparent mode after changing firewall mode to transparent mode now we connect fmc and ftd once again to each other before that, let's review FTD network configuration that we have configured in initial step with show network command. All initial configuration are display, displayed. As you can see, the IP address of FTD is 192.168.200.100. 
192, 168, 200, 101. If you remember, we have configured FTD Autobahn management interface with this IP address. And FMC IP address is 192, 168, 200, 100, as you can see here. And now we can add FMC manager into the FTD and also FTD into FMC manager. Configure manager add 192, 168, 200, 100 with the key of Roika. then show manager it shows that the manager is in pending state until we add also FTD in FMC manager add device 192, 168, 200, 101 the name of device FTD V the key is Roika and default access control policy I choose the IPS intrusion prevention and do not block any traffic except that is an intrusion default IPS and save I also enable all features and then register We have to wait until the state is changed from pending to complete. It is still pending and we have to wait. We check again the state. It is now complete. In the next step, we will add bridge group and bridge virtual interfaces. We add bridge group interface. We choose the ID of ID of bridge group as one and add Giga Channel 00 and Giga Channel 01 in the bridge group and also the IP address of BVI, we configure 192, 168, 1, 101, slash 24. We have to also enable Giga Tenet 0 and 1 as outside. And inside interface mode is none and security zoom outside underline zoom okay and then okay and inside interface and the security zoom is inside underline zoom and it is also enabled we save the configuration if you need uh, to have internet connectivity in FTD itself we add default gateway into bridge group in the routing section Add route in the outside interface any IPv4 and the gateway is 192.168.1.1 one as the gateway and then OK and save. Then we add access control policy and rules like what we add in rotate mode firewall except for a few differences do not forget that in transparent firewall op traffic and also bpdu are permitted by default 
broadcast and multicast are not allowed by default. For our example, I add a rule to permit all traffic. Add rule, permit under an all, any zone, any network, any user, any application, any port, and just enable logging. And again, save. And also, I have to deploy the changes. To make sure that everything works as we expect, we check the connectivity from the computer in inside zone to a destination in outside zone. For example, this is a computer in inside zone. The IP of the computer is 192.168.1.117. And I want to ping a computer in internet, a node in internet, as you can see. The connection is established, but let's check in analysis, connection events to make sure the traffic is forwarded through the firewall, transparent firewall. In edit search for the networking section and protocol ICMP and responder IP 111 and search as you can see this is our traffic from 117 to 111 in Australia from inside room to outside room with the protocol ICMP let's check with which rule it is matched As you can see, it is matched with access control policy default IPS and access control rule permit all as we expect.